Alright, here we go. I've been asked about my home. There is C103. This is my door. My courtyard. The tree and the pretty lights and the bushes and of course the table and the yard and everything. My hummingbirds before I lived here, my friend Bob lived here, and he fell in the living room and broke his hip and suffered for a week with gangrene in his hip and he couldn't get off the floor and he died. So they came to me and asked if I wanted Bob's place, that no one would live here, that it was haunted. <laughs> So now it's my place. With the ghosts, of course. This is my home. You walk in, of course, you see my red candles and Route 66 stuff. I've been on the road earlier this week, so some of the stage gear is still parked here on the dolly. My infamous skull head bass drum. This is cool. Now, I had some extra light rigging. That's my stage light rigging back here. With the cases, and the leather bag and stuff. This is what I use on stage. But I had an extra set of stage light rigging. So I used it to create a partition in my home. My girl Cher had bought me this huge, enormous rug with this beautiful scene on it a very expensive piece to decorate with. And I used to keep this hanging on a wall, but I decided to use this to make a wall. <laughs> so I took some cool twine that colors coincide with the uh, rug and some grommets. As you see, I put grommets across the top of the scenery. Okay, so it's a whole blues scene is what it is. It's from a, like a blues roadhouse where people would go and hear blues music and blues bands and stuff. But I took this twine and the light rigging, I set up the light rigging itself and the trusses across the ceiling and the stands, of course, to hold it up. The cat tries to knock it over, but it doesn't work. <laughs> and I used this twine and the grommets to put it on here and make my own artistic type wall. And people come in and they're just immediately overwhelmed by that and the first thing you hear is the words wow <laughs> yeah this is my little dining area and as you can see I had been building cigar box guitars this is my ZZ Top rocking Santa Claus thingy and some cigar box guitars some photographs dehumidifier a little spot to drink coffee and eat. Of course, some great flowers and such. This is a Banjo Brian. You always see Banjo Brian. Kato the kitty cat on the recliner. One lady made a real name for herself. Watching a uh, documentary about heavy metal. This is my. I'm still having quivers in my crotch. Not understanding. Oh, the plaster casters. My mother had always told me that. Documentary about the plaster casters on TV. Not true. And some and of my hats. So though I guess that's what everybody I, sees my know. hats every now and then. Actual sex. And we're talking about hats and there's some broad on TV sex. talking about penises. I, I don't know. The plaster casters, rock and roll stuff there. Alright. So I'm gonna do the little tour of the apartment here for the Facebook page because I was asked to this is my kitchen. A little messy, not all that, but you know, hey, my kitchen. The, got some tomatoes and plums and tomatoes and peaches and stuff there. And of course, Fig Newton cookies, gotta have Fig Newtons, yeah, hey, everybody likes some Fig Newtons. Hey, right. 
Now, of course, this rug, this one that Cher brought over, makes you quite distant St. Louis, and it's just a beautiful rug. It's really me, man. <laughs> Everybody knows I like the skulls. So, when you come around the corner here, there's a solid wall of guitars. And you come around the corner, and then on the other wall, you got the solid wall of guitar cases and a solid wall of amps. It just goes everywhere. A solid wall of amps. Amps everywhere you look. There's my keyboards. Uh, it makes, it, the walls, of course, are covered in the finest of home decor. <laughs> That's a mixing boards and multi trackers and such. My drums, PV CS400 power app. This is one of the notorious SP3s from the 70s. These things rock so hard it's not even funny. some instruments up out on there for everybody to see. And of course everybody's heard these instruments on my recordings. I layer different tones. I have to use quite a few mixers to do that. Another old PV board. Let's try to improve our lighting in here. Boom! Yeah. Little improved lighting there. There's the wall of the great wall of PV. <laughs> Different PV amps and stuff. Fender, custom, gorilla, you name it. This is my keys, uh, banjos, and such. This guitar tree is the coolest thing. That was a gift from Michael Broyles down at Batesville, Arkansas. It holds six instruments and uh, well, some of my street rigs here, but we'll try to get around there. Uh, I can't get around to the other side right now, but you see there's other guitars on the other side of the guitar tree. I'd like to get about eight more of these guitar trees. Those are cool. I'm a one-legged guy, so to make hi-hats work correctly, I require two sets of hi-hats, one closed and one open. That makes them sound right. Because uh, I have plenty of samples, so I get about every kind of tone I want when I'm playing my drums and recording. It's real important to have different tones. Cowbell and tambourine, of course. Bongos down there. This is old Zildjian from the 60s. And uh, this is a Sabian here. Zildjian, this is a don't know. Another I don't know, that's a Sabian. This one has uh, got a unique sound. And uh, these drums sound good. They're just CB drums. And I don't remember when they were made. They're pretty old. I guess back in the 80s or so. I don't like drummer stools, they hurt my back, so I just got a folding chair, you know. Um, they don't have front heads on them. I got a little blanket in there to uh, kind of muffle the sound a little. But these sound so good. I, I love the way these sound. I, I've got several things, you know, the yellow set, and I've got the gray set and everything, but this is my... my I love these. I had a black set and I gave those away because I just ha I have found anything that matches the sound and I was told that they're pearl shells with CB hardware. I don't know but I know they sound great so I like them. Um, these are a lot of the instruments featured on a lot of the recordings that everybody hears of the Devil's Cut Band. And the 
these are the amps that everybody hears. Uh, my legendary Hartley PV, Great Wall of Hartley PV. I love PV stuff. I use it all the time. And anytime you look on my stage, you're going to see PV, PV, PV everywhere you look because it's just indestructible. It's dependable and it works night after night. So, a little tour of my home for those that have been asking and uh, how I decorate my home, <laughs> my studio here. And of course, these bags are full of pedals, effects, recorders, multi-trackers, the things we record with, monitors on the floor, of course, these are angled monitors. Some stuff I've been working on, different things music stand you know to do stuff still do on the to-do list more light of course and, uh, yeah. so there you go A little tour of where I live and where Brian and I record takes a lot of gear to do the type of recording we do. Everybody always asks how I get certain sounds. They say, look, you really wouldn't understand. you got to have some pretty heavy-duty stuff and a lot of it to produce the different sounds. Uh, Fox on the Run is one that's getting some airplay at the different radio stations right now. The fact of the matter is uh, the guitar part on that you hear is a cigar box guitar, a ukulele and a mandolin, with a classical guitar, electric guitars, 12 string and 6 string guitars all layered and tracked over one another to sound like one guitar. So you know we do a lot of stuff that everybody thinks is just like one instrument but they don't understand why it's got so much tone. Well it's because we'll layer with different amplifiers to get different sounds and then use different effects and processes. Uh, my drum beats, I basically just was at electronic drums and sometimes, you know, I gotta tell them, no, actually it's me. Um, what I'll do a lot of times when I'm starting off with the beats, I'll use a Digitech or a drum machine of some type and then I'll record the vocals, guitar and bass parts, mix those down together and then come back with live acoustic drums over that and layer those which sounds really pretty freaking cool. I, I like it so I keep doing it because it sounds good. And so I do a lot of layering when we're recording. Little studio type stuff. This is my little dining area. And of course some of the cigar box guitars I've made are hanging up there. You know. I like my little dining area because especially for my little flower thing that used to be outside but it got assaulted so many times I brought it in. And I like that thing. These are some walking sticks that Cher got me. And this radio is super cool. And it's been featured on a couple of the videos that we shot. Actually. And uh, it's got a really great sound. I like this little radio. Like monkey. <laughs> this, I love this thing. Girl got me that thing. <laughs> I like that thing. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, we got dead stuff hanging from the ceiling. And of course, if it's gonna be my home, you gotta have some dead stuff hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sayonara. <laughs>